Hi, and welcome back to Poltergeist Board Games. Today I'm doing a unboxing of Atlantic Sentinels, North Atlantic Convoy Escort, 1942 to 1943, a solitaire naval game by Gregory M. Smith and produced by Compass Games. So this is a, this is a pretty thick box, about two, inch, two inches, um, not, not too heavy. So that's good. Um, complexity is a four out of 10 time scales, semi abstract two missions per month, map scales, abstract unit scale, individual escorts, U boats and merchant ships, number of players, one with options for two, cause you can, uh, play co-op with the hunters. So you can incorporate both games. Suitability for solitaire is 10 out of 10. Average time to play, 10 to 15 minutes for a single mission, six to eight hours for a full career. And the recommended age is 14 plus. So this is a game where you're um, escorting convoys across the Atlantic. And as you know, the Germans were heavily sinking our um, transport ships and um, cargo ships. So um, your job in this is to go after those subs and sink them. All right, so let's get into the box. Oh, and when you get your box, make sure that you dig around in the um, postal service box among the peanuts because they throw in two dice that were not included in the box. So make sure you don't throw out your box and your your two dice because they just threw them in the postal box. All right, so we have more dice two six-sided and three ten-sided dice. I know that's a that's a twenty-sided die, yeah. Um, so we got a twenty-sided, two ten-sided, and two six-sided. Then we have some cards here. Sequence of play cards. So prepare to play card zero. Um, escort mission start, conduct a mission, encounters, combat prep, detection, attack U-boats, U-boats versus convoy, encounter sequence, air encounter, and mission. So 10 sequence cards. We have our rules of play, and that is... 26 pages with the back cover. And we have some player aid charts. You've got refit, upgrade, air support phase, chart A4. Um, on the back, you've got your U-boat targeting. You got your weather, flak, aircraft encounter. Chart B, attacks and detection. U-boat to hit, um, U-boat torpedo to hit chart, uh, Fido homing torpedo, attack damage chart, escort detection chart, escort attack chart, and U-boat damage. We've got random events, optional uh, variable U-boat quality, so you can have your there them be um, you know green trained veteran or elite. Uh, evasive maneuvers, which is optional. Table H1. Um, these are uh, the ships that could get sunk and their tonnage. And ONS-154. Uh, these are more ships. These are small freighters. Table M1 in their tonnage and you have large freighters table m2 
in uh, chart A1, convoy assignment. So London, at Londonbury, uh, at St. John's, and you have encounter chart, a wolf pack size chart. On the back, you have tankers, table M3 with their tonnage. And you have your U-boat combat map. So these are targets, whether they sunk, they're sunk or not, torpedoes. And then chart U1 current U-boat target. So this is when you're going after the U-boats and their damage chart. And then we have our tactical display. So you have your ships in here and you have your escorts around to protect. And we have lastly our counters. double-sided uh, you have a log sheet and someone always comes up with a better sheet because these are some well I think these are okay but sometimes they're a little too small to write stuff in um, but you know check on BGG for uh, any updates to the files and you have your operations map. It just shows your route, you know, for your convoy. Has the weather. And then we have escort group display map. So you get your destroyers, frigates, cutters, corvettes, random events. Um different types of uh, uh, you have radar and hedgehog, crew quality, damaged, um, current combat cycle. So, and that's mounted. This one was mounted also, mounted boards. All right, let's get into the rules. Put this back. Table of contents. You have your introduction with a little quote from Winston Churchill. Um, how to play the game. And these are going to be like, you know, most of uh, the Gregory Smith games, uh, they play very similar. So if you played The Hunters, it's going to play very similar to that. Um, okay. Conducting escort missions, escort refit, end game. You got tactical display, talks about that, the playing pieces, how to read markers, game markers, U-boats. You've seen these U-boat markers if you played the Hunter series. Crew quality, um, tells you what their die roll modifiers are. Uh, random events, armaments, damage, uh, tactical display markers. You got charts and tables, the convoy log sheet, game scale, parts, and inventory. So it tells you all the stuff that you should have. And then uh, game setup is general rule, escort group selection, uh, escort group B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, C1, C2, C3, C4, and escort A3. Um, start date, prepare convoy log sheet, escort group map display setup, which is this. 
how to set that up, uh, weapons and sensors, procedure, HFDF and Type 271 radar, basing, St. John's, Newfoundland, Newfoundland, Londonbury, Northern Ireland, operations map, how to win the game, general rule, ending the game, determining victory, marginal, substantial, decisive, uh, sequence of play, um, gameplay outline, determine convoy assignment, conduct convoy escort, Resolve encounter, refit escort group phase, sequence of play cards, talks about those. The convoy assignment, mission length, escort group upgrades. It's a picture of the HMS, HMCS Regina flower class Corvette. Uh, then combat, how to do combat general procedures. So, and how to deal with a wolf pack. Um, lots of detail on that. Attack summary. Um, using the day or night. Uh, what happens if you have stragglers? The U-boat combat map. Air support and encounters. We got specific flak modifiers, the Fido homing torpedo, strafing FW 200 Condor encounters, U-boat uh, damage, flooding engine motors, all that, escort damage, torpedo damage, crew advancement, promotions. And you have SOE ranks, uh, Lieutenant Commander, Commander, Captain, and Admiral. Promotion mechanics, Canadian withdrawal and refit. Um, and then there's a nice example of play here. More on the example of play, then you have random events. Multiplayer rules, and you have historical scenarios that you can do. Uh, historical scenario one, which is convoy on 113, or OM 113. Then you have historical scenario two, convoy ONS 154. Optional rules, standard tonnage amounts, increased historical targeting, variable U-boat quality, just making them green, train, veteran, etc. Um, variable aircraft quality, so making them green, trained, or veteran. Then you have historical convoy identification. So it gives their numbers there. Green crews, limited depth charges. Uh, fish, optional evasive maneuvers. Um, then you have credits, and you have um, designer notes, uh, bibliography, then you have ship notes on the flower class, river class, town class, treasury class, and then you have a rules index, which is really nice. And you have a uh, counters um, chart that shows you all the counters you're supposed to have. And then back here is a uh, chart that um, probably should have been on one of the player aids, but it's back in the very back of the rule book. And it's a U-boat detection sequence um, approach box. So it, um, this is a chart that you're gonna need. It's important. And then on the back, you have the U-boat damage listings. So flooding, hull, periscope, dive planes, etc. All right, so that is everything in the box. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm uh, 
going to get this on the table, hopefully bring a playthrough in the next couple of days. And uh, as always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.